I got Patrick Chapin now. Oh, really good. Now, now, now. Can't say I didn't earn this. God, what is with my deck right now? It's just never giving me. Okay, okay. That's how we drew it up. We got ourselves a time showdown. All right, Rhino. With that incredible stream snipe going on, I think I've lost my privileges as a co-caster. <laughs> I think you've earned them for life, but, you know, whatever. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna head out for the night though. It was great. Right. It was great being on the stream. Yeah, it was, it's great having you ruin my 7-0 run. Uh, it's gonna be 7-1, <laughs> but I just I just want to show know. everybody that you're not unbeatable. Chap Chapin's got the Wrangler in play right now, and and we've got the exact same faction base out right now. Oh man, this is getting touchy. I'll uh, I'll show him what I got. There we go. All right. Good luck, Rhino. Thank you, man, and thanks for hanging out. We'll do it again sometime soon. Sounds great. See ya. See ya. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll just... Do I want to trade this off with the Wrangler? We're not under a ton of pressure. Oh, this Lumen Defender's not showing up anytime soon. We'll take the trade. I'll feel bad if I draw Staff, but not that bad. Ooh, Awaken soon. That's something our deck's lacking. Jeez, all right. Well, we're in good on power this game, that's for sure. But hopefully Lumen Defender can help us go the distance here. We're going to be under a lot of pressure, though. This is going to be tough. He's curving out much better than we are right now. We need to see a Minotaur Ambassador. All right, that, that, that'll help, too. Unfortunately, it's also a 7. Um... Alright, his strangers are deadly. Okay, okay. First. Slowly, maybe stabilizing. Slowly. Being the, the key word here. But Roland's Honor Guard and Pillars are both going to be pretty big here. We've got a very nice late game. It looks like he's stuck on 5, which is honestly a good place to be. But, uh... Uh, whew. I'm nervous, that's for sure. See what he's got. Yep, stranger comes in, and we're we're just gonna take five here. Oh, that's brutal. Okay. Next up, more life gain, and it blocks flyers. And then we start going off with Pillars into Guardian. I am willing to trade this Loom Defender here. Uh, just because I know I have Pillars coming. So we know he has a second Hatchling. If he just swings with Stranger, I'm also just trading. I'm just preserving my life total here. It's going to be tough to get a much better trade with this Defender. I'd much rather trade it with the student, just because it could always trade with it. Huh, am I willing to go to 9 here? Maybe I do save it to trade with this student. Like, I've got Pillars coming down. He's not in Colors with Reach. I'm going to take this again. That That's certainly... It's debatable there, but... I'm assuming he doesn't have another answer for my, my flying lifesteal. The fact that he used Predator's Instinct to take out this. Uh, Alright, let's make him have it. He might be okay with me gaining 6 and him uh, doing 4, but... Yeah. And that's that's totally fair on his part. Okay, let's see what else he's got. Wow, all right. He's putting it all on the table. Um, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. 
I don't think it's worth blocking with this pillar, then. What could he have that reaches for more than that? Like, yep, we're just going to block like this and let the pillar keep going. He would have needed a... He only has one card in hand. There's no one card that does that. So, um, yeah. This next turn, I'll probably leave this back to block. How many dudes am I going to have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, I'm going to have so many dudes. All right, we're attacking with both. We're turning the corner now. Woo! What's he got? Oathbook. Yep, that's not doing a whole lot here. Mithril Mace takes out Xenon Guardian. It's reasonable as well. Wow, Marshall's great. Let's see here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Woo. Down goes Chapin. That was that was a fun one. He 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 and I have very similar draft philosophies. I I find we're both on the uh, Combra Legion uh, deck. We 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 play that mirror quite often in draft. I think almost every time I've run into him, he's been on that deck, and I've also been on that deck. It's it's always a good time. That's a that's a fun matchup. Uh, just lots of big dumb things and fixing and silence. And uh, from what I understand, Chapin has not streamed this game yet. Most of the devs have not really streamed this, except for like kind of promotional things like LSV does it once in a while and stuff. Not too many. Oh, somebody's hosting me. Oh, bad guy Ty hosted me. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I don't know when that happened, but uh, that's sweet. Uh, yep, so uh, I guess then if some people just join, let me let me show you what we're working with here. We have an absurd all-in Cambrai Legion uh, ramp deck, as you saw that last game. We have two Pillars of Elysia, a Roland's Honor Guard, and Maris and the Eldest. But And to get there, we have two Ambassadors, two Amber Acolytes, and two Secret Pages, along with 18 power. We also have two Staffs. So... Um, it's it's pretty sweet. We also have two guardians to dump all that power into and stuff like that. So, so yeah, we just ramp, 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 drop a bomb, and hope that bomb gets there. And as you can tell, it's mostly been getting there so far. Um, uh, Ochikochi, Okochoi, what? I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher most people's names. We just saw Honor Guard that last game, <laughs> but uh, that was the first time. That was the first time we saw it. Uh, it's been. We've been seeing Marie's in a lot, and obviously we see Pillars almost every game because we've got two of them, and we can uh, we thin our deck out very quickly. We've had several games where we've had like 16 cards left in our deck, and maybe one or two of them are sigils. So uh, it's pretty sweet. The 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 deck thinning really makes a difference when you have what is it? Let's see, both pages count as two, so that's four right there. Four plus. Two more from the Acolytes is six, plus two each from the Minotaur Ambassadors. So that's ten. We have, we have, uh, so we have cards that ultimately remove ten sigils from our deck. So that can add up pretty fast when you're playing 18 to begin with. Um, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, 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 the, the, the draft started out with us first picking Marizin, and then we got past two straight pillars, and I was like, what happens if we just go super all-in on a ramp deck? And that this is kind of the monstrosity that uh, spawned from that hypothesis. And so far it's been hilarious. And, and this is... Oh, man. Uh, bad guy tie. I'm not sure. I went to stream today, and it just wasn't picking up the input from my webcam. I tried unplugging and replugging back in. I'm not sure if somewhere along the lines the the uh something died in it or like the wire went bad or something i just was impatient and didn't feel like trying to figure out how to fix it so um yeah so naturally we had this justice sigil the whole time because why wouldn't we so uh yeah this deck's you know perfect and stuff 
Uh, like I said, we have, we have two acolytes and two secret pages. I'm not. We're almost always going to get the fixing we need. Um. So now the question is, what do we oh, play here? Oh, why doesn't it tell me where? Where is my video preview to show me who who just followed? I'm sorry, whoever just followed. I I've got to fi figure out how to see that notification. Um. Because our opponent's not doing a lot, there, there's some merit here to playing Xenon Guardian instead. Ooh -wee. Oh, there it is. Iliac, thank you for following. All right, I've got it up now. Uh, all right, Carl the Cat, thank you. Thank you for uh, following. And uh, congrats on, on your placement in today's tournament. Sorry you didn't make it quite the whole way, but it was still a very good showing. And our opponent is just trying to find Ooh -wee. answers, it looks like. Bad guy Ty, wow. It's a follower train. Watch out. Choo-choo. Uh, we're going to bash Ooh, in. Wee. And Wisdom of the Elders. <laughs> oh, it's like showing it twice. I have it set up wrong. Anyways, that's fine. Ooh, wee. Thanks, everybody, for following. Let me see here. I'm probably supposed to turn off this one like that. Um... Uh, and I could play Lumen Defender, but I'm just going to put more power in, or attack power in play. Like, our opponent's not doing anything. I just want to up the pressure, and putting a 1-5 into play is not the best way to do that. Man, our opponent just is flooding. That really sucks. But we're going to keep beating him, because we are merciless and don't care. Hunting Terriax. Well, sorry, bro. Them's the breaks. You win some, you lose some. And we're not playing Combray Healer. I don't know what I want to put it on yet, so I'm just going to use these pages now. Uh, have a good night, bad guy, Ty. Okay, our opponent has a one... Oh god, he's playing Warn Shield. That's unfortunate. Never want to see that out of an opponent. Um Huh. Well, that does do the job of s stemming the tides for now. Eventually this is going to get big and Marizen's going to start doing its thing. Um but sure, he's going to have a big flyer soonish. That's something to keep note of. Hey, maybe he knows something about Warn Shield that I don't. You know, well, okay, so he was waiting on. Oh! Well, that certainly does some things against Xenon Guardian. Um. Let's see here. So I could play Marizen to start grinding out value. Um. The issue is, I haven't seen him use a removal spell, and now he's showing me double shadow. There might be a universe where I want to bait that out. I think I'm just going to trade the Xenian Guardian here for the Steward and try and unlock the ground again and also get in with this Lumen Defender. I think that's fine. Just stay aggressive here. Kind of slow roll the Marizen for now. That is shocking. What is going on here? He's got Annihilate? Yeah, so we get paid off here big time uh, for slow rolling mares, and he had the Annihilate. Sweet. Because if we played mares in there, we don't even get that bonus. So that's why we just be patient here. Oh, well, Vodican's staff is cool. Um, it doesn't let us swing past this still. And he has a ton of power up still, which is, which is awkward. I don't think we can keep affording to play around Death Strike though, because now he has so much power, he's just going to leave it up every turn essentially. So I think this is the turn where we go for it. Uh, I'm also not going to swing with Karmic Guardian. I don't care about gaining one here. All right, he has the Death Strike. That sucks. No, he doesn't. What was that pause for? Hmm, I'm not sure. Two psionic savants. Ooh-wee. 
Uh, so what's this staff going on? This becomes a 6-6. Six, six. That's not quite what we want. This becomes a 4-7 that just keeps gaining us uh, life. Can put it on this and it becomes a 7-10. Then I have to swing with it and I don't really want to. I think I just want to generate enough things to go wide and just kill him that way. So I'm just going to put this here and keep on trucking. Um, actually, oh, Sandcrawler, if Sandcrawler didn't have Summoning Sickness this turn, I would actually buff it and swing with that as well, because I know it has to block like this. But I am going to swing with the 2-2 two -two here, so he has the choice of eating this or bouncing here. Uh, I just want to keep up the pressure. Yeah, so now he's taking 4. That's pretty sweet. Um, and yeah, we're going to keep flooding the board here. I think that makes sense. And there's the scoop. We got another flyer. Marizen keeps ending games for us. Smart auto pass off. Uh, it smart auto pass is for situations where, say, you only have your units in play and you're holding like a torch. Smart auto pass will be like you would never want to torch your own unit. So I'm just gonna pass for you. Where um. Where uh. So, so you want to turn that off, because there, there are situations where you actually want to do that. Um, I believe that's the extent of it. And yeah, this hand's fine. It's got all our colors. It's got Combray Healer and a Vodican Staff, so it's pretty sweet. This is fine. Most of our hands are going to look slow and dirtily. And again, it's a little risky to keep, keep uh, 3 power, but hey, that's fine. Yes, Iliac, you might want to torture your own taking granite. <laughs> Yep, temp temper is a bit more reasonable, I suppose. <laughs> okay, nice and slow. This is what we like. Uh, depending on his line, we'll determine our line. If he if he skips his turn again, we'll play the hatchling. He doesn't. Um, so it's a question of how aggressive do I want to get here? And because like I could play hatchling and staff next turn or something like that, but I I don't see a reason. There's no reason for our our deck to get aggressive. We'll just play this 2-5. Next turn we can play a Xenon Guardian and then Myth, you know, uh, do stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm fine with making him have a trick here, or if he wants to use Lightning Storm, that's fine too. Um, sure, Static Bolts out of his hand. Probably disrupts his curve pretty hard here. Okay, now he found his 2-drop, so that's very nice for him. That worked out very well for him. Kind of the worst case scenario for us, but still, not that bad. Not that bad. Huh. Second Vodican Staff's not really what we want to see here. Ooh, boy. That's pretty good. He's just going to give them both flying, I imagine. Yeah. So now our hatchlings are really not appealing. We need to draw a justice sigil here. Take out one of these flyers. Perfect. Called shots are always the best shots. And now if we draw another power, we can play a flyer and put staff on it, or just try and race by putting stuff on our Xenon Guardian. Like, we could double staff our Xenon Guardian or something insane and just be like, all right, we're wait racing, let's do this. So, uh... We'll see what happens. With this hand, I just really want to drag out the games. Well, that's an argument for double staffing, I suppose. Um, but we're not under a ton of pressure here. Let's think about this. If we double staff and this thing never dies, he's hitting me for four in the air. I'm hitting for nine, so it's a three turn. It's not that much faster of a clock. Like I said, we're not really in a rush. Convenient thing is, Terriat's Hatchling also trades with Terrazon, so... Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. I could have gone Staff-Staff into double Hatchling the next turn, but... I don't know. 
call me conservative, because I generally am. I generally take pretty conservative lines. So we get slightly paid off for not doing the double staff line, but we're taking a ton of damage here. That kind of sucks. Huh. So now what's the line? Maybe take... Things just got more complicated. Pillar is a slightly awkward draw, that's for sure. Yeah, we're just going to run it back. Make him have another answer. Hope to draw some power. He's drawing a lot of cards. Makes us nervous. Oh, he has a third influence. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Blocking there is not the winning line. We have a second hatchling. Ugh. That is not power. Shit. So if we page his hatchling, we can chump with the one hatchling. Okay, this is still workable because we'll get back Vodican staff next turn. And I'm just going to tap out here. And I'll let him have that information. Ugh, we're going to have to do a lot of chumping, though. Oh, well, it didn't matter. Crystallize is not a beatable game card. Uh, I, I had a draft run the other day where I went 6-3 and three and all three of my losses were to Crystallize. <laughs> the card's just absurd. It's just, it's just so absurd. All right, six and two. Let's see if we can finish this thing. Let's see if we get there. Uh, that was a tough one. But that that's that right there is why we're playing 18 power. We just always want it. We just want to curve out every time. We want to hit four, five, six, seven, eight right through the whole way. Uh, there's just no turn where you want to miss a power draw. So that's why I'm playing, like, what What am I playing? Like Something like, I think all together I'm playing something like 22 power sources, but some of them are a bit more expensive than others. But yeah, Crystallize is an absolute bomb. Just super versatile. Sometimes It helps you, when you're behind on board, it's not that great, but even then, sometimes it just ruins the go-wide opponents. And when you're at parity or ahead, it just ends the game. Just So, so it does really well in the quadrant uh, theory test. And, uh... Yeah, it's a great card. I, there aren't many cards I would pick over it at the uncommon or common slot. I don't know if there's any, really. Like, Annihilate might be better, just in terms of pure efficiency, but it's hard to replicate the effect Crystallize has. It's so unique, and that's that's certainly something to keep in mind. Like, uniqueness is, is a factor. Like, how easy is this thing to replace? Wait a minute, the Huru are ruled by Great Owls? Then why is the Parliament Combre? Demand answers. Emperor Badger, that is a name I have never seen. Wow, we do have an issue to the stands in our deck, guys. And we are keeping this all day. This hand is awesome. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. My god, this might be the best hand we've seen all day. Other than, you know, that one that had only two power and a bunch of seven and eight drops that somehow won. Other than that hand, that, that was the actual best hand we've seen all day. Uh-oh. I'm just getting my sigil. I don't even care. I will snap trade this off. I'm going to save Combre Hiller to put it on Xenon Guardian. Make him use a trick or something here. Nope, that's fine. I don't care about trading Acolyte like that. 
You got it. Photokin's staff is also sweet. That almost makes me want to not block with this Xenon Guardian here, actually. It'd be an interesting decision to make. Didn't seem like he had a trick. Hopefully he doesn't have Torch, or, or we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Not a ton, but a little. See, how much do we care about a 4-4? Four, four? Going to have a 6-6 six, six and maybe even a 6-9 at some point. 6-9, God. Awesome. A lot of hesitation, so he's either really good at bluffing, or he's... Wow! Whoa! That is aggressive! Of all the lines of play, I did not expect that to happen. Jeez. Um, so because of Marizin, I kind of want to Combray Healer this 1-4 and just have a 2-2, two -two, so it's a... F yeah, that makes sense. Wow, that is an aggressive, aggressive combust. I don't know what that tells us about his deck, but it tells us something. I'm going to leave this back. I don't know why, but I am. Well, Marison's coming. Don't really have any bad draws here. We're going to keep pounding away. And we can't block it anyways. Yep, that's fine. The Elder is coming. The eldest, even. My god. Wow, two Asharas. That's pretty cool. Good thing we have infinite chump blockers. And by infinite, I mean once he has removal spell, we don't anymore. The old two Asharas, eh? Something tells me we can race it. Does he have the removal for Marizin? Nope. Doesn't swing. I don't agree with that line of play on his part. I mean, I suppose then I would start beating him down with Marizin. So I suppose that's a good point. But I don't know. And now we're just flooding the board with chump blockers and Vodican staff targets. So, yeah. Good luck, bro. Oh, more Vodican staff targets. Uh, yep. Oh, this also puts lethal on board? That seems good. And the, looks like Marizin's going to close it out. I'm hitting A next turn. It's coming. I can feel the A in my bones. So too little too late, broski. Sorry. Uh, oh, he misclicked his effects. He could have killed a flyer. It doesn't matter, but he could have. A space. All day. All right, got to seven. It was a little sketchy there towards the end, but we got it. Oh, hey, cool, chess. Apparently that was my thing. Cool.